Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve the function address caused a protection fault error on your Windows computer. So this error typically has to do if you are attempting to print something and you are coming across this error if you're specifically with an Office application. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Just off click on the Start button one time. You want to search for Control Panel. Best match to go back with Control Panel. Go ahead and left click on that. You want to set your view by to large icons. And you want to select Devices and Printers. Now make sure the correct printer here is selected as default. So let's say your printer was not default. You want to go right click on it. And then select Set as Default Printer. Again, you want to do that for whatever the correct printer is, so perhaps the wrong printer is selected and you have one of these default Microsoft printers enabled as default. You want to go ahead and select your actual printer, right click on it, and then select set as default printer. Another thing you can try if you close out of here, open up the start menu, type in device manager. Best match to go back with device manager. Go ahead and left click on that. And you want to expand the print queue section, so double click on that. Select whatever your correct printer is or whatever your printer name is. So if it's Dell, Epson, Canon, whatnot, you want to right click on it and then select update driver. And you want to search automatically your updated driver software. Another thing I'd suggest would be going on to the manufacturer's website and search up driver software. Most major printer manufacturers should have automatic tools that you just download and it will install the updated driver software for you without too much of a hassle. So that just gives you guys another option here. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and click on close, close out of here. Now you'll want to go ahead and open up the start menu, type in regedit, it's so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to go back with registry editor. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. So before you proceed in the registry, I'd highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong down the road, you'd be able to restore back to it. So in order to create a backup, it's very simple. Just would go ahead and lock on the file tab. Select export. For file name, usually I would suggest naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Export range should be selected to all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer and then finish up by selecting save. And if you ever need to import it back in, you just would left click on the file tab and then select import. It's a pretty straightforward process. Now that you've done that, I'm going to have a registry path in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy it. Delete whatever's up here at the top address bar. So it says computer. I'm going to just backspace over that. And then you're going to right click and paste in this direction that I have in the description of the video. And this will take us directly to the registry path that I wanted to explore for this tutorial. So we're going to expand print processors folder over here on the left side by double clicking on it. And there might be something underneath of it, any folder name, it could be different than what you're seeing on my screen here. You want to just right click on it and then select rename. Add a dot old on the end of any folder that appears underneath print processors when you expand it. So don't do that for monitors, pending updates, or other folders like that. Just go underneath print processors here and anything that expands with underneath that. You want to change the folder for, so you can see where I'm expanding. So go ahead and change that. Now you should be able to close out of the registry editor. I'm just going to go ahead and minimize out of all these folders that we expanded. Close out of here. So you want to open up the start menu, type in services. Best match to come back with services right above app. So go ahead and left click on that. Now you want to locate the print spooler service. So scroll down a little bit right here. Right click on it and then left click on restart. Give it a moment here. And once it's done, I would suggest restarting your computer as well as turning your printer on and off again. And hopefully that should be able to have resolved your problem at that time. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.